Undaunted, I knew the game was mine to win. Just like in life, all of my successes depend on me. I'm the man who has the ball. I'm the man who can throw it faster than fuck. So that is why I am better than everyone in the world. Kiss my ass and suck my dick, everyone. You've reached the end of cassette number three. You're listening to the audiobook, You're Fucking Out, I'm Fucking In, by Kenny Powers. Narrated by Kenny Powers. A lot of people ask me, Kenny Powers, you're a giant star. Do you get any woman? Have you ever paid for sex? And the answer is yes, I have. Several times, in fact. And it's actually kind of cool. You can negotiate practically anything, and sometimes even just kind of do stuff in the moment that you never agreed to pay for, and it goes by without much argument. You want to know about relationships? I know all there is to know. Just ask my second wife, Tina. Yeah, she was a stripper. And if Montel Williams wants to talk shit some more, then he can go fuck himself, because those charges were dropped. Sure, I've been called a xenophobe, but the truth is I'm not. I honestly just feel that America's the best country and all the other countries aren't as good. That used to be called patriotism. It's important. One time I was invited to come to a social gathering. I was paid a handsome amount of money. And I brought a shotgun and a bottle of Tangeray and showed those people the best fucking time they've ever seen. The humongous part about being a celebrity is cashing in on it, making shitloads of money, having expensive, luxurious things. That way, in case one day you're not famous, you can still be rich as hell and better than everyone around you. I've been blessed with many things in this life. An arm like a damn rocket, a cock like a Burmese python, and the mind of a fucking scientist. So people often ask me, Kenny, what are your weaknesses? Do you have any? I would say that my biggest flaw, my Achilles heel, is my tireless work ethic. People say Kenny Powers is a woman hater. That's not true. I love women. Every fucking one of them, even the ugliest shit ones. But don't ask me to trust them, not even none. Because every pair of tits comes with a gaping hole in need that even Kenny Powers can't fill. I never bought into the Native American mythology. You can smoke a peace pipe till your dick falls off, but I'm not dancing with any fucking wolves no matter how high I get. Not that I get high, but if I did, my shit would still believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. If there's one thing I hate, it's losing. If there's two things I hate, it's losing and getting cancer. This one coach tried to put me on a weight training program, and I was all like, you and your weights can fuck off somewhere. I'm not lifting that shit. It's heavy. You tell me why I need strength training when I'm strong enough to throw a goddamn 100 mile per hour pitch. Fuck that. So in closing, I'd like to give big ups to God, Buddha, L. Ron, whoever. Hell, maybe I just need to thank me. There's one thing I've learned through all my adventures and conquests is that some people are just wired for success. I had no choice when it came to being great. I just am great. I'm not trying to sound cocky or full of myself, but Kenny Powers has a sneaking suspicion that no matter what comes his way, he will always be great. Because that's just the way shit works sometimes. This has been based on a true story. The motherfucking end. You've reached the end of your fucking out. I'm fucking in. Read by Kenny Powers.